Hello, America. Hello. Welcome to another week of Camping Corner. Week 22. 22. Yep. Guinness is, we we have notified Guinness. Did, wait, do you mean you notified Guinness? Because I don't think there was any we notified Guinness. Well, I, I notified Guinness. Okay. An email was sent. An email was sent. <laughs> My people reached out to their people. <laughs> We're that popular. We have people now. Uh, we have people. Yes, we have people. <laughs> By people, now, we mean Dan. ironically... Ironically, I kept reaching out to Guinness. Yeah. At the bar. <laughs> and ironically, Guinness kept showing up time and time again. <laughs> if the glass was empty, there was a full one right behind it. I'm not a big Guinness fan. My kid likes uh, Irish car bombs, though. He that he's like a trendy kid. He likes. Oh that stuff. yeah. So no, I can't do the dark. The half and halves are good. Um, I forget what that is you mix with it, but half Guinness, half. It's like a lighter beer. It's pretty good. Yeah. Huh. Well, you know, two kinds of beer I drink, kind I buy and kind somebody else buys. I'm not overly particular from that point. <laughs> Hams, bush latte. I have three kids, so when anybody wants to hand me a drink, I'm pretty okay with whatever. Yeah. My wife <laughs> likes those little frozen... She got the, you know, the the little pop-up ice things, you know, that are in the little plastic thing. Yeah. You, know, you can get those alcoholic. Oh, I did not know that. Yes, Costco. I need I need my Costco membership back. You can also make them at home yourself. Cut the top off, pour a little alcohol in, and then seal it with like a crimper or a, a hair crimper, and then let it freeze again. That's a lot. I mean, it's not a lot of work, but. <laughs> more work than just going to Costco. I mean, if you're going to do that, wouldn't, you, wouldn't it be just as simple to just get like the regular icy pop and take a bite and then take a sip? Yeah. <laughs> like a chaser. Yeah. <laughs> Chasing it right out the bottle. Well, episode 22 is off the rails already. Look at us go. Hey, it's Father's Day weekend. It is. So happy Father's Day to all the dads, grandpas, stepdads, whatever you're classification is happy father's day yep make sure if you haven't reached out to them this weekend make sure the chat definitely awesome those of us that don't have our dads around this weekend sucks so yeah but you're a dad so you still get to enjoy yeah your boys and... yeah yeah but I, yeah. I get you but what's the buzz what is the buzz Tony the buzz is you're going camping okay you can only pack three things. Okay. But they, what you pack has to start with the first letter of your first name. Ooh, tricky. Tricky. M. Meals, right? You gotta take your meals. <laughs> Did you see, see what I did there? It works. <laughs> um, marshmallows. That goes in meals. Man. My drink. Can I be broad like that? Uh, no. Oh, no, okay. No. I don't think you could even get by with meals. Okay, let's, then yeah, we'll, let's, let's be more specific. If we're going to be specific, then marshmallows, Moscato. There we go. And... Why do you draw blanks on... Like, now I'm, like, drawing a blank on anything that starts with M. And people watching this are probably like, oh, pull it together, Mallory. Like, I'm thinking, like, hygiene-wise, like, what should I take, right? Because <laughs> I'm loaded up on marshmallows and Moscato. Should probably... Give me a minute. I'm going to think of the third one. What are you, What do you have? I think I'm going to go with uh, tequila, Tito's vodka, <laughs> and to Totino's pizza rolls. I got I got the food, the beverage. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what my third M would be. I'd be fine with just marshmallows and Moscato. <laughs> I'm good. We had one uh, one comment. The I think her name was Erin. She said everything. I'm like, hey. Hey, it see. It worked. It worked. That's broad though. I just did, I didn't let Mallory do the broad. Hey, I let our Facebook followers. We didn't give. Want. Yeah, we didn't so give the followers rules. Dan, Dan said dental floss, dinners, and dogs. 
He's going on a very non-alcoholic camping trip. <laughs> And I'm gonna have clean teeth. And he's gonna have clean teeth. That's why he I'm didn't take he didn't take a toothbrush. <laughs> just just do. So floss. he's gonna have some he's gonna have some muck like on the fronts, but in between, oh yeah. Is that where you just dance? Crystal. You just like t-shirt move, like wipe yep. your teeth off of your shirt and then floss. You're good just to go. Brush with your finger. Good to go. Ooh, mouthwash. That could be my third M. There you go. Boom. And if you drank enough of it, it's alcoholic. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So we definitely had some more great camping photos submitted, which is awesome. We love them. So we got this first one of, it looks like, Jeff Trent enjoying their Outback yep. at Prophetstown. Yep. Pulling it with the Dodge. And here dodge. starts the battle. If you can't dodge it, ram it. <laughs> it's the Raminator. Okay, we have to pause for one second. Tony, what? need to give a shout out to the family that we met at the campground this weekend, and let's see if oh. you can remember their last name. Altairs? Nope. Eh. Altairs. Altairs. Got it. Altairs. Altairs. Yeah. So, so you know, they 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 send they post a lot of pictures. They do. Yes. And we've talked about them several times. Yes. So at the campground last weekend, I happened to drive by and saw their little sign that they were, were camping. So not long after, Dan and his lovely wife, Sarah, who's our executive producer, uh, showed up. And uh, so we went down there to meet them. Okay. So. And we got the correct pronunciation. Yes. And two minutes after we pulled away, Tony messed it up. <laughs> so I was waiting to see if he'd get it right this week. Yep, yep. <laughs> so big shout out to them. Yeah, I'm sorry I didn't get to meet you guys, but at least you got to meet Tony. It's because you're not a you're 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 snobby. You don't you you camp on your own property. I'm not good enough to hang out with you low life people at the campground. That's, Kiss the ring. That's me in a nutshell, guys. Just me much. in a nutshell. Yep. <laughs> yep. Five foot two and bulletproof. <laughs> Derek might agree with that. <laughs> So we also got an awesome picture from um, Michael Walters uh, camping with the grandson at New Salem Lincoln Park in Illinois. Nice. So super cool picture. Got the awnings out. Got the little trucks. Got the little Tonka trucks out there in front. Those are the best. Kicking it old those. school. Yeah. Karen Hunt. We oh. need some. We need some people to submit to us some good campgrounds to try. I feel like. We get a lot of entries, like Illinois, Ohio, Michigan. Like, I'd love to, maybe I'll post about that later and just say, hey, where's a where's a great campground you guys suggest? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and why? Yeah. Why? Yeah. You can't just say, it's not any fun to say, you know, the KOA at Brookville, Ohio. Right, and then you have nothing to back up. Why yes. is it such a nice campground? Yes. I got you. Yes. So Karen Hunt also sent her picture in with their Cougar 27 SGS. They got a beautiful setup there. I like all the pillows. You decorated the inside, Karen, and it looks beautiful. Love it. I love this. This was from around the web. Yes. You know, we always get some cool stuff from around the web. Uh, absolutely super cool. Um, when Michigan opened back up for business June 8th, uh, little sis Beasley decided to launch a business of her own with a unique candy shop. So they turned a fold down tent camper, a pop up tent camper, into a candy store. And it's adorable. It's just adorable. And she's 10 and yeah. wanted to do this. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, super cool. I bet she was, I bet she was slammed for business. I would have bought from her just for the sheer fact that this is adorable. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whether I wanted candy or not. Yeah. So my, I'm originally from, from Richmond mm -hmm. and Richmond does a thing every year, um, called lemonade day and they, um, encourage youngsters to build a lemonade stand and sell lemonade and it teaches them, you know, the value of the dollar right. and value of, you know, doing business and things like that. And yeah, um, super cool. 
Yeah. You, know, you drink more lemonade than you know what to do because you get, you know, you got to stop at every, yeah, you gotta you know, every one of the them kids. you see. Yeah. yeah. Super awesome. So, yeah, that's a, that's a great idea. I love that. So we have started everyone's favorite, one of the new segments, What the What. What the what? And everybody seems to be really loving it. What the what? <laughs> So we're going to kick off what the what. And oh, are these pictures what the what? <laughs> How many tires are on this first one? I mean, I got one, two, three. Fourteen. <laughs> Fourteen. Yep. And it had to have a name like the Dreamliner. Yeah. You know, the ultimate in luxury. Yeah. For 1967. Fleetwood introduces the Dreamliner. I wonder how long that thing is. It's obnoxious. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. It looks like, so it kind of looks like the front three wheels are turned a little bit. So it is such a monstrosity that it takes three front wheels to turn it. Right. I wouldn't want to drive it. Mm -mm. No. That's, that's crazy. And then the bottom one, I, I don't know about anybody else. This thing looks like, it looks like it started out as a hearse. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I could see that. I think it started out as a hearse and then somebody said, I'm going to repurpose it. <laughs> I want to call it Blue Betty. I don't know why, but that's just what's popping in my head with this Blue thing. Blue Betty. Just think how dark it is in there. There are no windows. No, no, there's not. You're right. So yeah, super dark in there. Hopefully they did really good on the lighting. No, I don't know how it's not popping a wheelie. It looks so back heavy. Right. <laughs> I think your wheelbase measurement's a little bit off. <laughs> Need to be a little longer, but <laughs> it's crazy. Oh goodness gracious. What is up with all these having like just an obnoxious amount of tires? And the more tires you have, the more prestige you have in the camping community. <laughs> oh <Well>, shoot! <laughs> <laughs> I want to know where somebody found uh, four GMC vans that were painted <laughs> the same, because that looks like a factory GM paint job on the side, you know, from some luxury <laughs> those of you that are old enough to remember the uh, craze in the 80s and 90s for the conversion vans the pinnacle and luxury look at the mirrors oh there's three okay there's six mirrors total yep. three on each side I didn't even see that the top reminds me of like a yacht like did you steal that off of like an old like yacht boat or something yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing on this thing that came off of a yacht. Well, I mean, not like a nice yacht. I didn't say it was like a fancy one, <laughs> or like that type of boat. Now, here's what I think. This is the perfect vehicle for when the A team retired and started a family, but still all want to travel together. I got you. <laughs> well, and look at. So they got the air horns up there. Yeah, those are important. But you know the most important thing I see on there. What? They got a American flag right on the front bumper. <laughs> if this doesn't say America. I don't know what does. America. <laughs> Which door are you getting in? All of them. All of them. Yeah. There's an obnoxious amount of everything, like lights, doors, tires, mirrors. And it's got some, some like, wire spoke hubcaps. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we couldn't go with just smooth hubcaps. we no. got to have some wire spoke does it have curb feelers on it? Are you old enough to remember curb feelers? No, probably not. <laughs> so they used to have these, you used to buy these little things that you could put like on the bumper. Yeah. Right in front of the tires. And they were just two little metal, uh, like metal s spikes that stuck out. Okay. And then when you pulled up next to the curb, they would drag, you'd hear them drag on the curb so you didn't like curb the side of your tires and tear up the side of your tires uh, or your hubcaps. They're curb feelers. Okay. <laughs> so somebody repurposed, looks like a fire truck. 
you're assuming. I'm assuming. You're assuming that it's been repurposed. Maybe it was just the fire department going, we might be there a little while. We need a <laughs> command center. <laughs> hey, you don't know. You don't know, do you? You can't assume anything. Yep. <laughs> yep. Hey, second shift, it's your turn to make bacon. That's the thing. Maybe that is their firehouse. You know what I mean? Like It could be. I love, you know, I love it. I, you know, the sad thing is I would drive that. You would, you would do this? You oh, would yeah. I would, I would drive that in a heartbeat. <laughs> Just imagine pulling into the campground with the, the lights on and the <laughs> siren and that big horn. You know, because there's always kids playing in the middle of the driveway in the campground. Oh, yeah. You always, yeah. 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 yeah and you lay on that big obnoxious horn you're just saving their mom from having to yell at them to yeah. get out of the middle of the road yeah you're gonna get run over yeah. <laughs> by somebody who shouldn't run over you i'm not gonna lie i am that mom yeah <laughs> there's some great comments about this one though just add water once at the campsite well i think you skipped what the actual picture was no isn't it that no no sir i don't think i don't know no no no. Oh, somehow my script is out of order. You need to caption this in front of it. There you go. Good thing this is recorded live. <laughs> Maybe we should just one time. Just <laughs> see what all the... Dan, can we go live? live? Absolutely. Let's do a live. Okay. We'll, like, lose, we'll lose the screen in the background, but other than that, yeah, we can totally go live. Just so people can see what we actually do. What? Well, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Whoa. All right, we'll yeah. do it. We'll okay. Do it. Oh. <laughs> All right, so so caption ooh, this. <laughs> Maybe that's how I feel about the picture. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> caption this. So everybody did such a great job on the last one. So we posted this one earlier in the week, and there's definitely some good ones. Especially since you've even got the two guys standing there talking, staring at it. Like, look at the mullet on the front, dude. That dude, that is straight Billy Ray Cyrus, 1986, achy, breaky, breaky heart, heart. Yep. mullet. Oh, goodness. So, we have some people's comments. So, we'll just kind of your caption this. We'll kind of pick through them. And... I love that this is all I could afford after the divorce. <laughs> I like the just add water once at the campsite, like it's going to expand. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. It was there when I left Canada. No offense, Canada. <laughs> well, maybe a little bit. Uh, for for sale, cozy camper with raised deck attached. Perfect for camping, uh, st a camping starter or those who have downsized. <laughs> We got a great comment from a top fan, Derek Masters. It's a really blank slate, and you have total freedom on the design. Oh, look, my husband participated. I didn't even realize it <laughs> until just now. Communication's really working at your house, huh? It is key, you guys. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Unfortunately, only the back half is available with stealth technology package. <laughs> Who wants to read Cody Conley's comment? I know. I thought I, that's. I was just reading that one. I thought when you make payments, Ted, that, that you got the whole RV up front. No, Donnie, not it. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I can't read the name. Uh, you get a piece. Uh, you get a piece every payment. <laughs> so Johnny Cash. I'm a huge Johnny Cash fan. Okay. Johnny Cash had a great song about working uh, in Detroit. And not being able to afford the vehicles that they were building. So he was building his own car one piece at a time. <laughs> and it's a 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. <laughs> you know. And then in the video, uh, it's got like a jalopy looking car that's basically made that way. So. <laughs> yeah, because there's another one, top fan, Kara Joe, that she threw out. You can read it. I'll just, I'll bleep it. Okay. Read it, I'll bleep it special once you pay off your loan and all the extra added service charges for warranty work we don't stand behind, that we don't stand behind you will come out of your pocket with it's in the fine print just read it you can have the rest of it of course it's still available <laughs> <laughs> 
Some people got savage on that one. <laughs> yeah. And then Ro- Robbie McKinney, since I was, I noticed the guy's mullet. Frank, what the crap? Steve says, business in the front, party in the back. <laughs> this model comes with mother-in-law's yep. orders. Original toy hauler. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Hank Essemaker, one of our fine service writers. So, so that's where the bathroom is. <laughs> Absolutely awesome. Love it. Okay, guys, it's time for Who Sold It Better? Tony's favorite segment now. I love this segment. I, I'm happy. So last week, Mallory won the number guessing game and got to pick who goes first. So this week, Tony, you get to pick who goes first. <laughs> it, it doesn't matter. You have to pick. You have to pick. Um, ladies first. Okay. Okay. So, Mallory, you get to choose one or two. I'll choose two because it's on top. Okay. Oh, there goes. Oh, shoot. Hang on. Don't look at one. Don't look at one. Fell over. <laughs> All right. Number two. Well, I know you told me that you really like the feel of an Airstream and the look of an Airstream. You're definitely getting pretty close with this one, and you're not going to spend all the money. <laughs> that was a solid sell. <laughs> that was. <laughs> that was a solid sell. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now we're on to Tony with... Oh, um, man! <laughs> what in the... Worse than last one. <laughs> oh, I got this one. I got it. Martha, Ted, I got a two for one deal for you. Not only are you getting this lovely tow vehicle, but we're going to throw in at half price this lovely trailer. Now, the cool thing is, collectively, you have a huge, huge opportunity to create really anything that you want it can be bad as you want to be the good thing is that the air conditioner and the lp tanks are still there they bumped in to pulling you know the, the previous owner bumped into one of those little yellow posts at the gas station and did just a little bit of damage on the side just a smidge you know not it's not bad you know so only let people see the other side. I would suggest putting your awning on the other side, then you just don't show them that side. But do you see how the mattress stores? Super convenient, covers the window, covers the door. Nobody's getting in. You're don't, good. Don't move the mattress. It might be holding that up. You're good to go. You know, I have to give Tony credit, though. He does a really good job of selling these things. Yeah. These. Yeah. These pieces of crap. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if he watches the episode, but I, I have a, a, a previous co-worker who I consider to be a friend, um, and his name's Jeff Cook, mm-hmm. um, and everybody calls him Cookie. And the joke is, this is exactly the kind of stuff that Jeff Cook sales, sells on a daily basis. He is the absolute best at it. And... Jeff has a really unique voice. Anybody who knows Jeff Cook, and if there's anybody watching that knows Jeff Cook, they'll they'll understand this. He has a really unique voice, almost like a cartoon character. Yeah. And his favorite saying would be, all you need is just a little die-core and some duct tape, and it'd be just fine. I don't think it leaks a bit. But that's a shout-out to my good friend Jeff Cook because that's the kind of stuff that he sells. But just remember... It's a twofer. It's a twofer. Because that's probably about how many teeth you got. <laughs> You've got twofers. I just liked how many times you used huge. You have a huge, huge, huge opportunity. opportunity. Hey, you forgot to mention the, the fabulous white, wall. white walls. I know. I just thought of that. Mine even had white wall tires. I mean, this thing is pimp. You're going to be looking dope. Pimp. 
It looks like it might have been a bookmobile at one point. It very well could have been. <laughs> but got the, the wide whites. Man. If it had some side pipes on it. Ooh, dope. I know I thought of that once you were just, I was like, man, mine even had white wall tires that I could have sold. You betcha. I drive that little thing. That's cute as a button. Oh, goodness. Is that it? I think that that's it. it. We're done. Episode 22 in the books. Yes. Chalk it up. Yep. Check the box. Crazy. Turn out the lights. <laughs> you don't have to go home. You just can't stay here. <laughs> when are we doing live? When are we going to do a live episode? Uh, we'll either do that next week or the following week. How does that sound? I say we do it for 4th of July weekend. That'd be a good one. Okay. All right. Let's do it. That's we're going to be... In, that's in, we're celebrating away. Independence Day. Independent of the studio. <laughs> then, okay. you, then you guys get to see live how these sessions go and how much does Dan really have to edit out right. when, when he does edit the show. Yeah. We still need to get... You know, not def, I, I don't... Should, at some point, we have to have guests. We need guests. Yeah, we tried to get a co-host today because we didn't know if Tony was going to be here. Bring your guests in. We can, we can make it work. Yeah. For the live episode? We can do that. <laughs> That'd be fun. I'm down. Let's do it in the campground. Okay. Let's, let's do it outside, fresh air, in nature, mm-hmm. <laughs> in the campground. Yeah. Fourth of July weekend. It'll be super awesome. We'll just go chill at your camper on we'll, the patio furniture. Yeah, we'll, we'll round up some guests. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm in. All right. Well, there it is. Episode 22 and future plannings of other episodes. Yeah. So if you want to be one of those surprise guests, because that's what we're going to do. We're just going to spring it on them. Yeah. You know, hey, guess what? You're going to be a guest on the show. You get as much time to prep for the show as we do. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Dan walks in and throws a script on our desk and goes, you guys Let's ready? Let's go. <laughs> you guys ready? <laughs> But it's fun. Uh, that's it. <laughs> that's it, guys. So have a great weekend, a great Father's Day weekend. Enjoy your celebrations and any camping that you do, and we'll see you next week. Yep. Have fun at the campground, guys. See ya. Bye.